In a clinical study from Bombay, out of 800 children with thyroid disease, 79% had hypothyroidism. What are the common causes of thyroidism in children? Um, so, hypothyroidism uh, in newborns is uh, called congenital hypothyroidism. A little later in uh, adolescent age group, it's uh, mostly because of autoimmune hypothyroidism. So, uh, number one, it is important to screen for congenital hypothyroidism in all children because it is a preventable cause of mental retardation. So, let me make that statement clear here yeah, that all newborns should be screened for uh, hypothyroidism. The reason for hypothyroidism in this age group is mostly either the gland is not formed structurally uh, properly or uh, there is some enzyme defect because of which the function may be improper. So the, there are several enzymes uh, which ultimately lead to formation of thyroid hormones. Uh, so any enzymatic defect or gland abnormality can lead to hypothyroidism um, in newborn kids and that needs to be screened. Uh, usually the uh, incidence reported is one in uh, 2000 to 4000 in different populations and therefore it's high enough to uh, check for it. You spoke about the presence of autoimmune thyroidism in adolescents. What are the precautions that they should take to prevent this disease? Uh, autoimmune hypothyroidism is not something which one can prevent if there is an increased risk. So it's usually present much later in life. It may also present um, in the adolescent age group. Um, so the precaution to screen for hypothyroidism. Uh, in kids, any um, failure to increase in height is the first indication of thyroid dysfunction. So in all children, it, it's, a, it's advisable to check your height every six months to one year and plot it along uh, the growth charts. So there are growth charts which are available. Mostly pediatricians would give you one and or you can uh, just plot the heights on a wall uh, at your home. So failure to increase in height sufficiently if the height velocity is less than 5 cm per year or uh, increasing weight but not increasing uh, height. These are the early signs of hypothyroidism. So uh, one should immediately go and check with the doctor if height is not increasing adequately. There are other symptoms like um, if hypothyroidism is severe then you will have all the uh, symptoms like dry skin, dry hair, um, inability to focus. So uh, in children uh, altered school performance may be one indication. In uh, adolescent girls, early or delayed puberty, mostly delayed puberty is maybe one of the features of uh, hypothyroidism. So look for these symptoms, if uh, any of these symptoms are there, if there is uh, uh, improper height gain, then there are other disorders also one needs to rule out. So I think that way we can screen it at right time and treat it properly. You mentioned look for symptoms of thyroidism in kids and screen them. Can you explain the treatment and what critical factors should be considered? Hypothyroidism in uh, neonates, uh, young children, adolescent is treated the same way. It is uh, to give thyroxine from outside as a replacement. Uh, the thyroxine replacement doses in children is proportionately high per kg body weight. So in adults, it's uh, say 1.5 to 1.8 microgram per kg, whereas in neonates, it's 10 to 15 microgram per kg per day. So the doses have to be adjusted frequently. When we start therapy in a very young child, initially we check at two weeks, then at a month, then at three months interval, then six monthly interval. So gradually the duration interval between the tests are increased. But in early age groups, the tests have to be frequently done because with increasing height and weight of the child, the doses have to be adequately uh, adjusted. Uh, the child's brain development happens in uh, during in the womb uh, in the fetus and that continues for first two years so during these first two years it's important that the child gets adequately replaced with thyroid hormone for uh, uh, normal brain development for, for normal height development so uh, the doses are to be adjusted more carefully uh, once the child reaches adolescent age group and 
uh, the weight and height don't change as quickly then the uh, dose is almost stabilized by the age of 16 to 18 years of age so treatment is same as adults the doses vary and the interval of monitoring is what changes